Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself and you, how you got involved in the disability community. So I am currently a teacher for the visually impaired. I work with students that are from the ages birth to 22. Um, my brother, actually, he has a disability and he has been really my driving motivator of wanting to work with individuals with disabilities. So basically, since I've been born, because he's my older brother, um, I've just grown with having, knowing somebody with a disability. So just wanting to see and give people equal access um, really struck home with me. So mm -hmm. that's cool. So I know that you said that you work with the visually impaired, correct? Yes, that's correct. What 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 sorts of things do you do with the visually impaired? What sorts of things do you work on with those individuals? So depending on their needs, it can be as it may say little, but it's impactful as little as making adaptive materials for them, whether it be making materials larger for them so they can access what the curriculum is for the school, um, teaching them about video magnifiers, teaching them about OCR readers, optical character recognition readers, teaching them Braille, uh, teaching them um, what we call the expanded core curriculum, which is basically an outside curriculum of basically how to help people with visual impairments become more independent. Um, and yeah, and teach them like keyboarding, computer strokes, JAWS, screen readers, all that fun stuff. There's, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like my next question here is like, how do you make sure that people who are um, visually impaired, you know, are able to do things independently? Um, yeah. So how they're able to do it independently? Yeah. Do so, certain tasks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So since I work generally with the younger ones and depending on if a student maybe loses their sight, middle school, high school, um, if they're in an adult transition program, I normally work with them alongside them and even work alongside their teachers saying, hey, this is what you can do to help with this student do, say, washing the dishes, folding their own laundry, sorting different things. Um, there's orientation and mobility specialists that help with teaching them on how to ride a bus independently, um, what they need to do to cross the street independently and safely, different things like that. So it's a lot of us training them and also training people who they interact with every day, even talking with their parents about this is the best way that you could do to help with your student or your child um, become more independent and even help at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my next question here is what impact does, you know, working with the people who are visually impaired have not just on yourself, but like the disability community in general? I think it's just really building more of that independence and not really having that um, helplessness, that self-helplessness that I feel that they may have. Because a lot of people will see somebody who's visually impaired and be like, oh, I want to help them. They'll go right up to them and say, hey, let me help you go across the street. But a lot of the times they may not want that help. They may want to just be able to do it by themselves, but they've had like, a, I don't want to say a stereotype. I don't think that's the appropriate word but they have this stigma around them of they, oh, they always need help. They always need this when they also can become independent and be able to do things themselves. So that's mm -hmm. the kind of impact that teachers like myself and other teachers that work with other people with disabilities try to help build that independence so they don't have that always needing help that they can do whatever they need to do by themselves. Mm -hmm. That's good. My last question here, because you, you talked a little bit about the stigma. My last question here is, how can we create an inclusive and welcoming environment for people who, with disabilities, especially those who are you know visually impaired? I would definitely say educate yourselves and talk with people that have visual impairments. They're, again, going back on that stigma of they may not be able to do X, Y, and Z. When they can do X, Y, and Z, they just need their own accommodations or modifications for them to be able to do what they need to do. So just talking with them, have an open conversation. They have YouTubers, they have Molly Burke. They have other YouTubers that have different sorts of disabilities that say, hey, I can do this. This is 
someone like Molly Burke, who is blind. And she's able to show that I am independent. I may need supports here and there, but I am independent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are important points there. 